Hi, I'm Thomas. Welcome back. Our topic is integration. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to integrate the ratio of a derivative of a function to the original function. At the top of the screen, we have two integration rules. The integral of a derivative of a function over its original function with respect to x is the natural log of the absolute value of the original function, plus c, and a more general rule, the integral of k times the derivative of a function over the original function with respect to x is k times the natural log of the absolute value of the original function plus c. And it's the second more general rule that we'll be using in both of our examples. Let's look at problem 1. The integral of 2x squared over x to the power of 3 plus 4 with respect to x. Going to our algorithm, step one, identify function type. We need to be able to identify the fact that the numerator relates to, it's not exact, but it relates to the derivative of the denominator. So as my function type, I want to note generally I'm dealing with the concept of a derivative of a function over its original function. Now in order to apply the integration rule, which tells me I'm going to have the natural log of the absolute value of the original function, I need to do some manipulation first. So in step two, what I want to note is looking at the denominator, x cubed plus four, I want to answer this question. What's the derivative of that denominator? So I'm going to make some notes here. In the denominator, I see x cubed plus four. The derivative of that expression I have 3x squared. The plus 4 is a constant, so it disappears. Notice in the numerator, I don't have 3x squared. I have 2x squared. So I need to think about how to change 2x squared to 3x squared. And that occurs by multiplying 2 times 3 over 2. If I multiply the numerator term by 3 over 2, then I'll have the exact derivative of the denominator term. Now, I can't simply multiply by 3 over 2. I need to offset that multiplication. The offset to multiplying by 3 over 2 is dividing by 3 over 2. This is the same as multiplying by 2 over 3. So what I'm going to do is manipulate my expression. I'm going to multiply everything by 2 over 3. And 2 over 3 is the k in our integration rule. I'm going to take the k, the constant, outside of the integration. But as a constant value, not a variable value, I can place this to the left or the right of the integration symbol. I'm simply going to put it on the left of the integration symbol. 2 over 3 is our k. Now, 2 over 3 times the integral of, in the numerator, I'm going to multiply by 3 over 2 times 2x squared over x to the power of 3 plus 4 with respect to x. Multiplying by 2 thirds and 3 halves doesn't change the value. I don't want to change the value. I want to change the format. Notice in the numerator, I can now offset the divide by 2 and multiply by 2. What I'm left with in the numerator is 3x squared. That is the derivative of the denominator, x to the power of 3 plus 4. Now I can apply my rule. So my final answer is going to be 2 thirds times the natural log of the absolute value of the denominator expression, x to the power of 3 plus 4, and I want to include the constant of integration, plus c. So this completes step 3. Step 4, there is no simplification. Step 5, there are no limits of integration. So we've completed our analysis for problem 1. The integral of the given expression with respect to x is 2 thirds times the natural log of the absolute value of x to the power of 3 plus 4 plus c. Now I note regarding the absolute value concept. The reason we're using the absolute value concept is because natural log is meaningless other than for an argument which is a positive value. 
So we need that expression to be a positive value for the natural log term to have meaning, thus the absolute value notation. This concludes the first half of our lesson, and in the second half, we'll work through problem two.